My name is Peter Chaban. Um, I'm, uh, I'm a director at the Web3 Foundation. Um, and uh, uh, I've been involved uh, with the, with the uh, Polkadot project and the Web3 Foundation from the uh, early stage um, and um, focusing on, uh, first on, on, um, on, uh, on the Polkadot uh, protocol itself, um, then building up the, the Web3 Foundation um, and, and um, uh, keeping, keeping an eye on the, on the Polkadot uh, project as well. As the Web3 Foundation, we, we, we try to uh, we try to generally support the development of the of the Web3 technology space, uh, make it possible to uh, uh, for people to build decentralized applications that that will be really useful, and. Um, we, uh, we, uh, we do it more by facilitating uh, the, the teams that actually uh, build the technology. And um, uh, kind of our work is focused on, um, on, on, on uh, two main areas. So one is the technology and the other is uh, the, the community. And um, uh, what, uh, what we do in terms of the technology is we first of all uh, uh, have a research team that uh, that works on uh, on first of all sp specifying uh, new uh, primitives for the for the decentralized space, so new kinds of protocols, new um, new cryptographic libraries, and, and things of that sort, and then tries to analyze the existing protocols that are out there. So. Um, and uh, then once once the research is done, then then we then we try to support uh, different teams that are out there uh, by financing them through the through the grants program. So this is our uh, grants program, and then and then finally uh, we try to provide educational resources so that people can actually understand how to use this technology and um, how they can take their idea for a decentralized application and actually make it a reality uh, using these, these decentralized uh, protocols. So in, in early stages, uh, Polkadot uh, was just an idea. It was an idea for a new protocol that would uh, allow uh, different blockchains uh, to, to connect to each other and also make it much easier to create new blockchains with, with new interesting uh, capabilities. And uh, the, this, this idea then had to be fleshed out into, a, into an actual uh, protocol. So the first step was, uh, was writing of the, of the Polkadot white paper that, that laid out the, the foundation for the idea for the actual Polkadot protocol. But then still a lot of work had to be done in order to make sure that it actually is state-of-the-art protocol that will be securely able to, to work and be as performant as possible. So this is why we've built up a research team within the Web3 Foundation in order to be able to comprehensively uh, um, research uh, things that are related to Polkadot and be able to then specify the protocol. And so we work across uh, different domains, uh, cryptography, algorithms, uh, economics, networking, and uh, by combining um, understanding uh, from these different domains, uh, we, uh, we aim to ensure uh, that, that uh, Polkadot uh, protocol is uh, as solid as possible and also that uh, any protocols around it and that interact with it in the wider Web3 ecosystem are also doing so in such a way so that uh, there is, uh, the trust is minimized and, and that, and that uh, um, the protocol is usable for, for, for developers. So uh, the, the research team at the Web3 Foundation um, uh, produces an, a number of different uh, outputs. So some of them are, uh, are uh, write-ups about the different parts of the, of the protocol that then get formalized into, into papers. Um, you can see these write-ups and papers at uh, research.polkadot.network or research.web3.foundation. And um, uh, that, that is a fairly deep dive into, into an actual nitty-gritty of the, of the different protocols that we do. If you want to stay tuned about the general uh, research outcomes and maybe higher level explanations, then it's good to follow uh, our uh, Medium account or, uh, or go to wiki.polkadot.network where you can find um, articles that, uh, that are more re relevant to builders or people, people wanting to dive in a bit uh, deeper into the, into the protocol. Um, there are also some uh, other, other things that the 
Web3 Foundation research team does. So in particular, we take care of the specification of the Polkadot protocol. So this is a document that allows uh, different implementation to make sure that they, that they stay in sync uh, and, and also allows uh, proper analysis of the protocol because, uh, because it describes it in detail. Um, we also work on, on uh, tests that can be applied throughout the different implementations that are out there and also uh, build some cryptographic uh, elements that are used within Polkadot that can be used more widely within the Web3 ecosystem. So in particular, if you build a, a, an application, you can have a look at the Schnorkel library uh, in, the, in the W3F uh, organization on GitHub. And uh, that provides a lot of interesting capabilities like, uh, of course, signing and verifying messages but also verifiable random functions, uh, batch verification, and uh, multi-signature capabilities, uh, and, and, other, and other interesting things that you can use when building your application. So we, as the Web3 Foundation, uh, don't build uh, any of the any of the protocols that are out there. We want to more focus on on facilitating the the community of great projects out there to actually build these protocols and build tools and and uh, uh, UIs that allow people to to access decentralized applications. And this is this is why we um, established the grants program in order to be able to distribute funding uh, to people that have uh, that have great ideas but need uh, need funding. And uh, you can see the, um, uh, the entire process and more information on grants.web3.foundation. And um, th our grants, um, the general grant application process is fairly simple. Uh, the grants that we give out uh, are up to 100,000 uh, uh, francs. And uh, we, uh, we give grants for a, for a wide range of uh, topics and wide, wide range of technologies uh, that fit within the Web3 technology stack. Uh, and uh, uh, these, these go all the way from grants that uh, apply to, to the networking uh, stack, so especially to P2P and uh, WebAssembly, all the way through uh, grants for uh, writing different blockchains that are compatible with, uh, with Polkadot or bridging existing networks to Polkadot. Um, then looking uh, at the stack uh, grants for uh, second layer protocols, so things like stable coins, uh, identity um, systems and, and other uh, protocols of that sort. Um, then um, deployment tooling uh, um, and different, different dependency management tools and things like that. And then finally wallets and UIs and things that actually allow people, users to, to interact with decentralized applications. So if you have a good idea and uh, you would like to, um, to, to, to get some funding in order to deliver it and uh, uh, make it accessible to the community, go to grants.web3.foundation to find out more.